All right, we're going to go right back to some breaking news now out of Gilderland. As we first told you moments ago, police are responding to a report of shots fired at Crossgates Mall. Emily Burkhardt just arrived on scene and she joins us live. Emily? Anita, Jerry, I have been able to speak with one person at the Gilderland Police Department. They tell me that the mall is currently on lockdown after, like you said, Jerry, police responded to a report of shots fired just a few minutes ago. I want to step out of the way and give you a look. This is what each of the entrances look like. There are police cars blocking the entrance. I have seen some police activity as well inside the parking lot there. Uh, we're Standing outside here uh, by Crossgates Commons, just across Fuller, I did see five to six officers with lights and sirens responding to this entrance you see in front of me here. In the last few minutes, I've seen officers from state police, Gilderland Police, as well as the Albany County Sheriff's Department just in the last few minutes. We're told that the staging location for the officers will be at Walmart just behind me here in the Commons. Officers are blocking each entrance, though I am seeing some cars leaving the parking lot, so it's unclear exactly what the situation is inside. Again, at this point, all we know is that the mall is on lockdown and that officers are responding to reports of shots fired. And we know that state police are helping Gilderland police in this active investigation. So if you are traveling in the area, be advised. Western Avenue has a lot more traffic on it than usual. Fuller Road had a bit more traffic on it than usual as well as people start to leave for the evening. Knowing that these entrances are blocked off and uh, some people may have some traffic implications as they're heading out for the evening, we're hoping to get more information from police as far as how many shots were fired, what the situation is that they're looking at inside. So stay tuned to News Channel 13 for updates. But for now, reporting live in Gilderland, Emily Burkhard, News Channel 13. Jerry Benita, back to you.